here with one of my old friends who I've known for at least a decade now, Shana James. And she is a men's coach and also runs the Man Alive podcast. And also I'm excited to share that she just did a TEDx talk at Valparaiso University. So obviously a very accomplished woman. Shana, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. So our goal right now is to do uh, a very quick rundown of the blueprint. And what we talked about was you giving examples of things that have felt good to you as a woman in your past relationship experience. So uh, let's jump right into it. Great. The, the first element of the blueprint, as everybody knows, because I talk about it on every single video, is to uh, is respond versus react. So this is the quality of a man who is grounded within himself there's a there's a certain stillness about him and an ability to take in the world and then choose how he responds rather than just reacting to all these stimuli so shane i know you've you've experienced men on both ends of the spectrum i'm sure but can you just talk a little bit about uh, an example or uh, something in this realm that has felt good to you as a woman yeah well i would say even as you talk about respond versus react and as you talk about a man who is grounded and has access to that stillness. And there's not like the buzzy, you mm -hmm. know, frantic energy or trying energy or, um, or the reactive, like defensive energy, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And so even just as I feel all that in my body, my body responds to what's happening in a man's body mm -hmm. to it. But even just, that first piece that I think I want men to understand is mm -hmm. what a relief it is to be a woman who is, you know, on it and working and acting a lot to get to like relax into more of my feminine mm -hmm. as a man is in that grounded, solid place. So if, if I could see energy, which I know some people can, I can't, but I can feel it. But what I would see is this kind of settling into the lower half of his body mm -hmm. less mind active mind so if i could see it would be like less monkey mind mm -hmm. and more coming into a kind of being in this moment together uh, element of the blueprint so provide structure so this is the quality of the man that has clarity about what he wants and needs he's yeah. decisive um, and that can take the form of him making decisions for the couple. But, you know, in today's world where there's much more quality, uh, it probably takes the shape of him simplifying decisions that need to be made and, and bringing proposals or possible solutions yeah. and then collaborating yeah. or just providing a structure for how the couple will, you know, have you experienced a man actually that has, or maybe has not, you can talk about either, which uh, he embodied that quality. Yeah. Yeah, the calendaring is such an interesting one, especially, you know, as adults with kids mm -hmm. in yeah. long distance relationship, all that stuff. So that's what I was laughing. But I was just thinking of an example the other night where my partner came over and, you know, we had like two hours and this is our one time a week that we were going to see each other. Mm -hmm. And I was exhausted from putting my kid to bed and the whole day and everything. And he was like, what do you want tonight? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Right. Not only was I not sure what I wanted, I wasn't sure if I could even get into the space mm -hmm. to be, you know, to be intimate yeah. or be connected. I was like, oh, making love would be really lovely. Mm -hmm. And can I get to that place where I can actually open and feel relaxed enough that my body right. would be ready for that? And, right. and he made the suggestion, we have a, a spiritual practice that we do together. And he was like, you know, what if we, he didn't say what if actually, he was like, okay, I got it. How about we, you know, we do our practice and in the practice, you can actually explore what you might want. So that way you don't have to know anything beforehand. It's just like, mm -hmm. you know, you get to discover. And it was such a relief for me. It was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. I don't, a, I'm not alone anymore. I don't have to just figure this out on my own. Mm -hmm. So it brings in. So, so men can sort of think to themselves, well, she's, she can handle this or she can come up with something, yeah. but you don't want to have to all the time. Yeah. And, um, and so a man that can step in and, and just temporarily, particularly in your intimate life, temporarily yeah. alleviate you of that really makes a big difference. 
It does. Here, it's these other things that you can do that have nothing to do with sex, which actually oh. open her up into more yeah. of her sexuality. <laughs> and I know it doesn't compute all the blueprints. So the third element is uh, create safety. So we're talking about physical, financial, and emotional safety. And um, this, this, this is the quality of a man that um, he knows the things that make his woman feel unsafe emotionally. Now, yeah. you know, it can be uh, not, I mean, probably the biggest one is not validating her reality. No. Uh, we men tend to think about facts a lot and, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to debate that fact with you. But the reality that she's typically sharing is her emotional reality, which you yes. cannot, you can't argue with. So um, Shane, I know, you know, you know, a world about this. So can you once again, share, you know, the, an example or a quality of a man who's really exhibiting this, this, uh, this quality? Yeah. I mean, I feel so blessed to be in a partnership where this man is, I mean, he's like, no one I've ever met before in the, wow. in his capacity to do all these things. And mm -hmm. the thing that came to my mind as you were speaking about this one was in our moments of, you know, being sensual, being intimate, about to make love. And suddenly I'm like, oh, I feel irritable. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I feel frustrated. Like I want this, you know, there's some part of me that wants this. And there's another part of me that's just like, mm -hmm. And I just remember recently when he was like, oh, awesome. Like, bring it on. Yeah, you know, let he just me... welcomed it in. Yeah, he said yeah. something like, you know, the louder, the, the louder, the more messy you are, the more I just love it. Mm -hmm. And Wow, that had know, to feel really validating. Oh my God, it just gave me so much permission to like yeah. growl and grunt. And, you know, and while a man may be listening to this and like, I don't know if I want that. I will just say yeah. that the, the more you welcome that part, the more, you know, pleasure and openness um, that can yes. happen. And yes. so that if that's in the way of a woman opening, if she's not feeling safe because she's like, oh, I can't bring this part because he's going to feel bad or judge me or think I'm weird mm -hmm. or crazy or too mm -hmm. much or any of those things, then she's going to be stuck in a more, you know, kind of rigid and less mm -hmm. expressive right. experience. Yeah, and this is a great point I want to share with the men listening here is, um, you know, we all think that we want a woman who's, you know, sensual and sexy and expressive. But the thing is, those qualities come from a part of her that is a little wild inside. And it does come out in ways that you'll find shocking at times yes. and not yes. know how to deal with. <laughs> but look, this is the price of admission, men. If you want a woman and it has all that juice, yeah. you have got to learn how to be with the messy side because they really, uh, Shane, please correct me if I'm wrong or saying something completely crazy here, but they often come hand in hand. That, that yeah. kind of woman that has those qualities that, that a man wants also is gonna have that little chaotic side. And, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not like we have to be abusive with it or, um, you know, unsafe with it, but mm -hmm. it's got to come out and come through our bodies somehow. Otherwise we're held in and more rigid. I was actually feeling that the other day. I'm like, oh, right. I can feel the way my body starts to tighten, almost like a mm -hmm. corkscrew. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and, you know, I'm working on that again on my own, in my own spiritual practice, how I can actually stay softer and more relaxed. Yeah. You know? just as I'm doing everything I'm doing. But one of the things that's been most helpful from a man is when he can even be with that rigidity or that tightness and love me there and accept mm -hmm. me there. That creates incredible safety. Yeah. And what you said uh, speaks to one of the bedrock principles in the book. I mentioned it several times, which is, you know, for the men, stop waiting for her to change on her own. You're actually, you can be different. And when you're different, she'll often be different because you really can affect uh, your, your feminine partner's way of being. And I think, Shana, yeah, your stories really have reflected that, yeah. that a man's way of being can really help you. He's not, he's not the final solution, but he can really help you in the moment. Totally. And totally. Also, I've been working with a client the past couple of months who you know, his wife has been more resistant to doing practices or listening mm -hmm. to podcasts and doing all this mm -hmm. stuff. And so, but as we've worked with his own reaction and his responsiveness and his ability to slow down and be more present, yeah, their relationship is radically changing. And whereas before there was this distance between them, 
she's now softening and she's, you know, feeling more that. sexy and they're connecting. It's, it's really beautiful. I love that. I love that story. I wish that for all the men. That's why I wrote the book because yeah. I want men to know what I didn't know and don't make the same mistakes I made um, and hopefully benefit from some of the learnings. Okay. Let's wrap up this segment. Great. Shana, thank you so much. This was awesome. Loved having you on. Thank you. Okay.